we're going thrifting today. I have a bunch of other errands to do, but thrifting is the main focus. Uh, I think I only have time to hit up my one of my favorite stores, so I will take you guys there with me. I haven't been to the store in a couple of weeks, so I'm hoping I'll see a lot of new stuff. Because I'm a Pyrex collector, I always, always, always start in this aisle. As you can see, this store is always packed with stuff, but no Pyrex today. After cruising through dishware, I usually end up in linens. I fell in love with this red velvet bedspread. I knew I probably wouldn't use it on a bed, but maybe for a project. How cool would a dress be made out of this? For me, it was a little expensive at $20. And I definitely carried around in my basket for a while uh, until deciding that I probably wouldn't get around to using it before we moved. I don't know about you guys, but my fabric section is always popping off. Today was no different. There was lots and lots of cool stuff. These prints are actually available at my local fabric store, and uh, Savers had them marked up to uh, above retail, so I left them. But I still love to look. They always have so much here. Something today was telling me to go look at photo albums. I never do, but there was a pool. There was a pool today, and when there's a pool at the thrift store, you listen. I found a box that had three albums in it full of pictures from Hawaii in the 60s and 70s. I grabbed it. It was only $3, and we'll go through it at the end of this video. I saw this fun little West Bend bean pot. It goes for about $20 retail, so it was a steal at $3.50. I have this really weird urge to buy other people's personalized gifts, like this 60th birthday plate to Jackie. I left it there, but the urge is real. I'm not sure what was happening here with these bowling pins with butterflies and flowers painted on them. Um, they're like a wall pocket. Uh, there was a whole set of them. Uh, why? The mysteries of thrifting. I was dying over King Baby. <laughs> oh, King Baby. Wow. He could be yours for just $2.49. I have a lot of this type of artwork in my house, but I resisted this piece because it was really scratched up, but now I kind of regret not getting it. This little girl. <laughs> She's so, so excited. Oh, so excited for these lights. This, this is amazing. I loved that this doll was giving Beth Harmon from Queen's Gambit. These kinds of dolls are known as Bradley dolls and they were made from 1954 to 1984 and they were mostly manufactured in Japan. My heart, my heart. This is a Hazel Atlas jam jar and it was available through a promotion with Kix in the 1940s. If you bought two packages of Kix cereal, you could get this for just a penny. The pineapple one is pretty rare and goes for about $200 online. So I definitely scooped it up. My store has an absolutely overwhelming amount of Christmas items. This is just one of many aisles. I always start off looking for clothes in this aisle. I'm always looking for bright florals from the 60s and 70s, and I have never found a piece here, which always makes me think one of two things. One, someone just has the section on lock, and they're here every single day fishing out all the good pieces. Or maybe they never even make it to the floor, like somebody has a friend, you know? We don't need to get into my thrifting conspiracy stories, so here's the most early 2000s dress that ever was. The teal, the brown, the halter neck, the sequins. I could see somebody from Laguna Beach definitely wearing this to homecoming or prom or some red carpet event. And uh, here's the tag. I'm a tag junkie. I love to look at the tags on clothes if anybody else is interested. If there was any way that I thought I could possibly fit into this orange iridescent dress, I would have bought it in a heartbeat. I wouldn't have anywhere to ever wear it, but I just really love unique vintage pieces. It was only $10, but I just couldn't justify it. It would not even go around my thigh. The fabric was so good though, and these ruffles, come on. I think these two possibly came in together because this is the same size as the orange dress. I love the over-the-top fashion of the 80s and into the early 90s. You know that stuff that's like, you know it's possibly tacky, but you just you just can't help but like it? I don't find a lot my size, so I do a lot of looking and drooling. This is one of three dress aisles in the store, not counting the formal dress aisle. The amount of things in this store is just sometimes really overwhelming. I usually don't deep dive as much in this store as I do in smaller stores because I would be here literally forever. As an example, my kids needed Christmas pajamas for Spirit Week, and th this is just one aisle of three aisles of Christmas pajamas? I was definitely able to find some cute stuff. So I ended up getting the, um, the Hazel Atlas Pineapple. 
Uh, holy cow, I can't believe I finally found one. Um, somebody that I follow had found one, I think it was two years ago, at the same store, and I was so jealous. So um, anyways, that's a good find. Uh, and I also got, oh, I bought that photo album with all those, uh, with all the pictures in it, and we'll go through it later. Uh, mostly I bought it because there's a lot of really awesome pictures from the 70s in Hawaii, and the clothes are amazing and then also i got a whole bunch of uh pajamas for the kids they have pajama day tomorrow at school and we don't have any christmas pajamas so i got some of those um now we are headed to uh my second favorite store it's another savers it's kind of far from here so we're going over that way um, and we'll see if we can find anything good this savers is a lot smaller than the first one but i always find more vintage here for whatever reason i did see pyrex as soon as i walked in this dish is from the Early American Refrigerator set. It's not my favorite pattern, so I left it for somebody else. I really thought these vintage wood look canisters were really cool. They're actually like veneer on the outside and plastic on the inside. I had never seen them before, so that was a first for me. They were pretty beat up, but still fun find. I couldn't decide if this Dalmatian teapot was cool or creepy. I don't know if I want to consume any liquid that comes out of a dog's ear. I found some vintage warming trays. I have one of these and I think it's pretty cool. I don't know why they're not popular anymore. This one looks like it was probably made for the bicentennial in 1976. Moving further down the aisle, I found this brand new with tags waffle cone maker. Do I need a waffle cone maker? No, I don't need a waffle cone maker. Do I want to smell the fresh smell of waffle cones baking in my kitchen? Yeah, I do. I spotted this pink metal fan, which was really cool. It's not vintage, but I thought it would be an awesome decor piece. I wish I had more room in my house. This particular Sabres always has a lot of hand crocheted and knitted blankets. I have far surpassed my quota of blankets allowed in my house, uh, so I just come to look. There's so many good ones and I always hope they get adopted by someone who will love them because obviously there was so much time put into this stuff. And those sappy feelings are why I have too many blankets currently at my house. Let me tell you that this store kills me with the vintage fabric, but whoever is pricing this stuff knows what it's worth and it's always very, very expensive for thrift store prices. Isn't it soul crushing when you find something amazing at a thrift store, but you can't even buy it at the thrift store. I carried this piece of fabric around for so long, but I just couldn't justify it at $30. I know it was worth $30, but my brain was just like, Gah! it was really, really good though. This piece was actually neon pink in person and would make such a cool dress. I honestly was surprised there was so much here because the section's usually pretty picked over, but I think the prices were stopping people. After fabric, I moved on to sheets. I actually have a dress made out of the same sheet, uh, except mine is still neon neon yellow. I'm just imagining the thought process on this. Like someone made this. <laughs> okay, I guess, I guess it's kind of cute. Over in the dress section, I spotted these three dresses that were identical, but they were in slightly different sizes. So I think they were samples, probably from a wedding dress shop. Um, I would have loved to buy one to make over or reuse the fabric, but Savers, they decided they were worth $70 each. And obviously, I just couldn't justify that for a makeover project. Who is pricing these things and why? I didn't have much luck in the clothing section. I did really like this hot pink um, skirt and jacket set. The fabric was beautiful. It was nowhere near my size. So I left it for another vintage lover. I thought this bag was really cool. It's just from Nine West, but I love a good rainbow accessory. Remember what we talked about? Something that's almost tacky, but you still love it. I also saw these beautiful blue shoes from Nanette Lepore. They made me think they would be somebody's something blue on their wedding day, you know? Also, I had to show you guys these heels because what, what, what were we thinking? Why was the, why was this acceptable at one time? Why would you not just wear flats at this point? <laughs> The only thing I ended up buying from the second savers was, you guessed it, the waffle cone maker. <laughs> it was $18, um, I don't have any regrets. In the same parking lot is my favorite milk tea place called Cheese Tea, so I got myself a little drink. 
So I usually get a honeydew milk tea with cheese foam. So that shop's usually like a boba shop, but I don't actually like boba. I kind sometimes a little bit, um, but I love this. It tastes like if you've ever had um, Malona ice cream, you know, like the pops or in the mochi ice cream. That's what this tastes like, and it's so so good. Mm. It's so creamy, it's so refreshing, it's so good. As promised, here's a look inside these photo albums that I got at Savers. I usually don't look at photo albums, but something today was just telling me that I should go and look and check them out. They were only, it was only $3 uh, for this whole set, but there's some awesome pictures in here from Hawaii in the 60s and the 70s. This woman and this guy right here, these are the owners of the photo album and this is their house. This, is, this house is in another picture. I love these shelves, look at this. Oh, here they are, look. They changed up some of their decor. A lot is still the same. I wonder where they put their piano. Is that the same lamp? Look. I just love the fashion. Look at her dress. She looks so cool. Uh, some of them have dates. Some of them don't have dates. I would take this dress right now. I would wear this whole outfit immediately. Yes, please. They're cooking a pig. These ladies are seriously the cutest. Look at them. They're at the Bishop Museum. My favorite picture. I am so obsessed with this picture. Honestly, if no one claims these, these photos, I'm gonna end up making a collage with all these amazing dresses. Seriously, I would wear all of these, 100%. They look beautiful. I wish there was more dates written on them. I mean, you can tell some are 60s and some are 70s, but there's no, sometimes the dates are printed on them. That's not the case with a lot of these. I don't know what this lady's doing holding this melon. She looks real happy about it. <laughs> Ladies again, they must have had a really fun day this day. Look at how cute they are. They're so cute. It spans a lot of eras, because um, a lot of these look newer. I think some of them say um, 2000. No, that says 86. That doesn't look like 86 to me. I could be very wrong. Oh, maybe. Oh my gosh. Uh, this is Michael's wedding in Maui. Michael, hello. Uh, Alfred's wedding in Maui. Oh, look at them. Oh my gosh. Back in the day, being a bridesmaid was, was a job. Look at these dresses, I swear. This says July 81. 
I would not have guessed 81. Well, maybe. Uh, Pat and Ray's wedding, 1975. Oh. Oh, look at these bridesmaids. That actually looks like a dress you could wear again. She did good. Good job. Seriously, they look so cute. Uh, so a priest from 72? Looks like somebody was cut out of this picture. My kids went to this camp, Camp Erdman. I love this. This actually looks like the cabinet that I have in my craft room right now. I think it's interesting how the all the decades are so mixed up in here. Like it doesn't go in any really order. I mean, it's like here's somebody's birthday, here is um, Christmas, and then here's somebody's birthday again. Look at this creepy clown. Oh, look. Look at their TV. This is the same house with this really cool island right here. This Pyrex right here. Look at Cute. I like her outfit. Look at these ladies. Look, she wrote Aloha in the snow. I just, the dresses are so good. This is the same house as their house. I think got a pet bird. Oh, look at her kitchen! I want to know if this kitchen still exists like this or if somebody redid it. Look at these chairs. My dining room table, my set is um, is similar to this. And that's it. You happen to be watching this and you know anybody in these photos um, or know anything about them, please let me know. Um, I know sometimes albums get donated because you know, there's no one left who wants the pictures. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if they had kids. I have a feeling that maybe they didn't have kids because of how the albums are. Um, because there's not a lot of pictures of little kids, which is interesting to me. So, I mean, you can see them kind of growing older, but um, there's no real pictures of like little babies or you know that kind of thing they could be in other albums maybe but then uh, as time goes on there are some children in the pictures so I don't know I'm pretty sure this is the couple uh, you know maybe they didn't have kids um, so there was no one for the pictures to go to Frank 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 is the guy so Frank, but I don't know the woman's name. Guy's Frank though. There you go. He totally worth the $3 investment.